Okay guys, so this is my 95 Honda Civic here, and this is the engine bay. Now as you guys can see, it doesn't look that great. Now, one of the very first videos I shot was me actually painting the engine bay and I didn't really do too much. Like I didn't spend too much time on it, too much money, and I even forgot to buy an actual clear coat can. I think I used the leftover one I had here. Now, all that being said, it, it didn't turn out that bad, honestly. There are some bad spots though. I mean, look, this, however, was because of the caustic material from there. And you can see it just runs off and it just ate away the paint. It's definitely chipping here. And it's also chipping here. And I missed that area down there altogether. Don't even get me started back there with all the brake lines and stuff. It's, it's look, I got what I paid for and it wasn't all that much, but it didn't look that bad. Now, apart from, you know, that area there that's all messed up and the chipping here, as you guys can see, it looks dirty, but it, it, it's like, it's never gonna look as clean as when I first got it. And that's partly due to my paint job. Essentially, when I got the little Civic here painted um, at Mako, I got some overspray in here and it basically just ruined all of it. Like it was black and shiny before and when I got the paint job, it was just gray and dull. No matter how hard I try to clean it, it does, it, it like, it's not, this isn't dirt, you know, it's obviously, it's paint. It's not gonna make it look black. It just looks gray and dull. And I've been meaning to fix it and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Um, well, sort of today, it's gonna take a couple days. Now, currently I'm in the process of installing AC back into my little hatchback. I don't know why this is here. Um, and I'm almost ready to throw everything back in there. All I need now is to pick up a few parts from the auto parts store because all this stuff I picked up at the junkyard from various other models and I've been piecing it here and there and I'm just about ready to throw everything back in there. However, once I do throw it in there, it's basically gonna make painting this engine bay a bigger hassle because once I throw it in there and recharge the system, I'm not gonna wanna spend that extra money to take it back out and recharge it again if I do decide to paint the engine bay in the future. So I might as well paint it now. Now a few things to keep in mind, just like in the previous video, I'm not gonna remove the engine. What that means is I'm gonna have to kind of sacrifice on the quality of the work that I'm gonna get, which is fine, you know, cause I really don't care if it looks perfect. I just want it to look a little bit better than this. Cause that's essentially what I got before, all right? I wasn't too displeased with the fact that it didn't look show quality, but it looked decent enough. I mean, just looking at this area here, right? If it just looked black the way I painted it, it's not coming off. And if I actually put the proper amount of clear coat on here, instead of half a can spread out only in, I think I think I only put it here and like a little bit on there. But if I actually put enough of the clear coat, I think it should last a little bit longer, especially since I don't have to get it painted again and I don't have to worry about overspray anyway. All that to say is I'm not gonna be removing the engine bay. I am gonna be removing pretty much anything else that's in the way, like the fender, the bumper, the splash shield, um, the hood, intake, battery, the fuse box there. Basically any of the wiring also is gonna get tossed aside and thrown into the middle and I'm just gonna cover it up. And just from the, look of, the looks of it, this area here, pretty easy to paint. Don't think it'll be an issue this area there is gonna be a pain. I mean, just look at the, all those wires and all those cables and that, it's gonna be very hard to get a can in there. But I'm gonna try it out anyway. Okay guys, so since I'm not gonna be removing the engine and I'm lazy and I don't wanna do all the work and I don't really care about it being too perfect, I basically just removed as much as I could to make things easier. Basically anything that I could take off to allow better access and to avoid overspray, I basically took it off. That honestly took, took a lot longer than I thought. I got kind of sidetracked with the lights, but I got it all out and we should be ready to go. Once I got all this stuff out of the way, I rolled the Civic out to clean it all up basically with just soap and water. I, I try to be a little careful with the water because none of these plugs are covered up. But essentially, I just used the soap and water to get all the dirt off and then I sprayed it all down and did it again with the greaser, only this time it was just to get up any oil or any caked up grease that wouldn't go away or dirt, whatever, just to help me get it degreased before I started sanding. Now, at this point, you can pretty much assume I am not expecting this to look 
great or even perfect. Since I've already painted the engine bay black, I'm kind of hoping that this acts as the primer and I really won't have to do too much in terms of painting it again. But for the sanding, what I'm gonna be doing is I mostly have to sand off the half can of clear coat that I did as well as some of the chipping. So I'm mostly going to focus on areas that are going to be visible and easy to reach, like the towers and this front part here, as well as some of the side pieces there. Now, obviously, I am going to sand down the entire car, but I won't be focusing on too much on the, the areas that aren't visible. Basically, if it's, if it's not essential, I'm going to skip it. For the sandpaper, I basically used a 320 grit sandpaper for any of the areas that needed rougher work like the paint chips there, here, and, and anywhere here, basically just 320. And I did the entire other um, areas of the engine bay with a sanding pad, uh, which is like 320 grit, so nothing too crazy. Um, I also got some 400 and 600 grit sandpaper, which is just to go over all of the areas I'll be touching, just to smooth out a little bit. Now, other than removing the parts, everything else has been done today. So this brings us you guys right up to speed and I basically just recleaned the entire engine bay using degreaser and that basically got rid of all the sanding particles that are left over so that I won't get in my way and now all I gotta do is wait for it to dry and I'm gonna be covering everything up and getting it ready to paint tomorrow morning but for now I am gonna take a break because this needs to dry and I am hungry. Now, once the Civic was all dry, I managed to actually cover up certain areas that I wasn't gonna be removing with just some painter's tape. And basically this just helped eliminate overspray and keep things looking nice. So after that, I went ahead and I just cleaned the entire surface with some alcohol just to get the surface nice and prepped. Next, I moved on to covering up the engine bay and the wire harness with some plastic sheeting. This basically just kept the center area free of paint. And for the radiator, I just threw that in a trash bag because if it fits, you know, it works. It's good enough for me. So once I did all that, I rolled the Civic outside just to get better ventilation for the painting. And then I decided that I should probably cover up the hood and the entire Civic with plastic sheeting so I don't get any overspray. And at this point, I also decided to cover up the bolt slots in the engine bay so that I don't get paint in them. Okay, now in terms of the painting, I bought two cans of paint and two cans of clear coat, each about 16 to 17 bucks, I think. And they basically allowed me to do one light coat and one medium coat. Ideally, I think it probably would have been better to buy a separate can of base coat, like primer, or buy a third can to get a nice full coat at the end, just to make everything look nice and shiny. Now, after applying each coat of paint, I waited 10 minutes before I applied the next one. And by the time I finished, the sun was starting to go down. Now, it did make for some pretty cool shots though. Of course, then it, I realized that I might not have enough daylight to apply the clear coat just because each coat, I'd have to wait for it to dry after I applied the next coat. I finished, I rolled the Civic inside and removed the little plugged up bolts so that I can let the Civic dry inside my garage. I thought this might have been in my head, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm, I think I might have some serious frame damage here. I thought, I thought this was just like a, like a regular curve that I'm supposed to have. But then as I, as I look at it, it, it looks like I pushed it in here, because on this side, flat and on this side it's not <laughs> ah man you know what it's fine it gives it character anyway so this is after almost 48 hours I think it's closer to like 45 maybe and uh, it doesn't look that bad so once the uh, 48 hours are done and this thing is actually dry I um, think I'm probably gonna do some high grit sanding if not I'll probably just use some compound and some polish to get rid of some of this uh, orange peel and it's also kind of, it is kind of dusty in here. Like I said, it's been here for 48 hours and there is no lid just because I didn't want to, you know, damage the paint by closing the hood. 
So at this point, it's been over 60 hours since the last of the clear coat was applied and now it's time to wet sand. And I'll be using two, three, and 5,000 grit sandpaper just to get rid of the roughness left by the clear coat so we get that nice finish. I'll also be using compound and polish to get that smooth mirror-like reflection. Uh, this is what it looks like here just after the compound and it definitely looks a lot smoother and a little bit shinier certain parts i could probably send it a little bit more but i'm just i'm just uh, i don't want to ruin it so it's good enough let's hit it with the polish look at that shine boys damn like i said certain parts could be better but this part's going to be covered up this part i was too lazy to uh dig deeper same with this part i don't want to ruin it and i've never done this before so that's it's fine it's fine Here it is guys, the final result. Check it out, look at this. Look at all that glossiness, right? I mean, even if it gets dirty, because you know it's black and it obviously will get dirty, um, at least I'll be able to clean it and be able to restore this shiny like reflection. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I'd give it a solid six, maybe a seven on certain parts out of 10. But like I said, I'm not an expert and I wasn't really expecting too much. I just really wanted to get that glossiness back because the dull gray oversprayed um, surface that I got before really bothered me. I would recommend an extra bottle of clear coat so that you can do a little bit more sanding and get, getting rid of some of this, uh, I don't know if this would be called like orange peel, oh these are like water spots, I didn't actually wipe it down all the way, but I could definitely get this a lot smoother in certain areas, I think I actually did. Yeah, like right here, I went heavy on the clear coat, you can even see on some of the footage, this side already looked pretty, pretty glossy, that side over there kind of didn't just because of the way I sprayed the can, right? I, I got it all misty and all the particles from the can kind of just stuck on there instead of applying a coat on it. But you live and you learn. I also redid the wire harness here. So instead of uh, that ugly looking dirty wire harness that I had before, I re-taped it up and uh, I've got some extra pins here that I can use. Pick these up on Amazon, right? So I can just attach these to the chassis and we can get a nice smooth finish. You know, compared to the way it looked before, all, all like faded and gray and dirty all the time, this definitely is a lot more visually appealing. I would definitely recommend going for three cans of paint though and three cans of clear coat just to be on the safe side. And at the same time, if you wanna be extra cautious, add a, a primer on there. I did not, but you know, like I said, I really wasn't too worried about it. The first time I did this, it came out pretty clean. And uh, this time, uh, weirdly enough, it did not come out as clean. Um, I had a hard time installing this latch back in there because I couldn't figure out where it was supposed to be aligned. And I accidentally, you know, got carried away and chipped it there. I imagine probably because I didn't sand down the previous coat of paint all that well, I just kind of sanded down to the areas that were chipping. Any areas that weren't chipping before could technically still chip now. It's just that they look shinier and it'll look nicer when they do now. Now, obviously there are certain areas that didn't come out so well. Like down in here, I can feel it. It's kind of rough, no paint pretty much. Um, now the same thing under the motor mount um, right there. 
um, back there obviously in that area over there I didn't even touch um, that part over here also didn't get sprayed you can see from the previous paint job I didn't even bother I took out the lines in the first paint job and I just sprayed on them but this time I didn't even touch them down there also kind of hard to get oh there's some tape here but it's kind of hard to get a, a paint gun in there so yeah so there are certain areas don't get me wrong even as clean as it looks now there are certain areas that didn't get a good um, paint like in there I can't possibly fit the freaking can in there so I mean it's not bad though but like I said didn't really care and I'm pretty stoked about this now because I mean look at this little hatchback dude nice I could have also sanded down a little bit more and gotten a little bit more of a smooth finish to it. Some areas still have a little bit of an orange peel, but I didn't really want to go too hard on the sanding. And at least now it'll be ready for the AC and it'll look a lot nicer than it did before I did this paint job, right? And it'll be a little bit more appealing to the eye. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care and good speed.